welcome to my July plan with me. I'm really excited for this one. I decided for this month, I wanted to use a variety of different mixed media in my Archer and Olive notebook. So I started off with a little bit of acrylic paint just to show you how really easy it is to use acrylic paint in the notebook. What I love about the acrylic paint is it doesn't bleed through and it dries really beautifully as well. It creates a really kind of opaque feel to it. Then I went on and used watercolor pencils. Now you will have seen or you will be seeing a watercolor pencil review in the next couple of weeks around how watercolor pencils act in a variety of different notebooks. I was really excited about that review and wanted to use the pencils that worked the best to put them into my planner. So that's what I did on the second page. I then went ahead and used all of my watercolor paint, all of my watercolor paints to kind of create a beautiful rainbow in my notebook. And then I used some acrylic ink sprays. I wanted to keep this month really simple because as always with Corona, nothing really too exciting is happening. Yes, I know that in New Zealand we're open again and we're, we've got very little cases, but that doesn't mean that a lot of meetings are going on or that a lot of events or activities are going on. I'm still feeling very homebound and still feeling very much like I don't want to go out. So in that respect that's why i've got very little plans on the go at the moment so i've tried to keep my planning as simple as possible to add more journaling and kind of talk more with myself or put the internal thoughts onto paper around what's been going on lately so it's more of a catalog of what's been happening versus planning and doing and to-do lists so hopefully you enjoy the session again today i'm going to add over a ASMR uh, soundtrack. Today's soundtrack is going to be a thunderstorm over sea or over the ocean and hopefully it brings you a little bit of joy. I don't need to explain every step of the process because it's pretty straightforward. I've kept it really simple but I would like to see how you recreate some of these pages and if you have any other mixed media you'd like to see me use in my Archer and Olive drop a comment below and tell me what you'd like to see used in our next plan with me. We have a whole month to get to August, so share with me and I can get that up and running for our August plan with me. Let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is add a couple of dots of acrylic paint to the paper. We're going, once we're done, we're going to take something hard like cardboard or card and we're going to drag it through the dots and kind of create really fun rainbow stripes. Now that we have sorted out all of our colored pencils, we're going to create some color blocks with the pencils of different sizes. Once I've colored in all the blocks, I'm going to go over them again with, wet, with a wet brush and fill in those watercolor pencils to really create that watercolor look.
Now we're going to be creating our watercolor spread. I'm going to take a variety of different watercolors and just continue making an entire rainbow throughout the entire page to kind of create something really pretty and fun.
After popping a paper towel behind the page, just so that I don't spray my desk, I'm now going to spray my acrylic paints over the page. I'm just going to add a whole bunch of different colors and kind of hope they mix together a little bit. I absolutely love the acrylic sprays because they add a really fun texture and vibe to my page. I find though that they do leak quite a bit because they're very watery and really liquidy so they do it's probably one of the only things that leak through my archer and olive paper Oops, I just realized I spelled every day incorrectly. It's not a big deal. It's my own journal and my own diary. So if I make a mistake, it's not something that's going to destroy me and I don't need to stick my pages together. I just make sure that I keep up with uh, making sure that I accept imperfections. As always, thank you so much for coming along. We look forward to seeing you over on our Instagram and Pinterest and YouTube and Facebook. Leave us a comment below with some of your really cool watercolor tricks. <laughs>